I'm back with another project share and sneaky peek of the new Halloween release that is available at Scrap Diva Designs on September 1st. Uh, I am part of the design team and these dies were sent to me for free and I had so much fun creating these little projects to share with you guys. So I've got a few die sets that I'm going to be showcasing today. Uh, the first of them is this little witch boot jelly tote. So um, this is the set here. Uh, really cute. It's called Witch Shoe Jelly Bag. And um, it comes with, you know, all the dies. It also has these little witch shoe uh, tags up there at the top. But I did not use that for this particular project. But I, they're going to be really fun to use in the future. So I put the jelly tote together. It does come with a layering piece that you can use for uh, a shaker to make this into a shaker. I, however, use the inside of that die to create a panel on the inside here. Do you see? Um, so I actually layered on the inside so that this pink shows through. So you can use the bag where the shoes, you know, are basically holes in the bag, or you can also, you know, use that layering piece to create um, like a panel of pattern paper on the inside. And so I did just put that in there and then it just basically created like a lining on the inside because it was double-sided paper. So I think that looks super cute. I am using the new Doodlebug collection. So stinking cute. Um, I had a lot of fun with this. I used the um, new bat bow up here. So this die set right here, it creates this really cute, I'm sorry, not bat bow, spider bow. Uh, number two is what it's called and it creates look how cute this is it kind of reminds me of bat wings I think that's why I keep calling it a bat but look how cute that little bow is it's got um, I don't know if you can tell it's got like a layer back here the tail and then there's a big bow and then I put the spider web and then um, a little bow in the center and then I just glued a little cabochon there so I think that is super duper fun I created a few others of those little bows too and a couple other different color options. And I think they just turned out super duper sweet. So really fun bow dye. And I've only done them in black, but I'm excited to try out the white or maybe even some holographic paper. I think that's going to be really cute. So um, love those. And they're just like the perfect little addition up here at the top of the bag. And then I just layered on some ephemera. I used my puffy stickers. <laughs> You guys know I really struggle with the puffy stickers. Um, and then I used the shadow words here. This spooktacular is from uh, the new Halloween words number four die set. And it just fits there perfectly on the front of this little bag. And then I do have a little dangle over here to kind of coordinate. And I think it just turned out so cute. Look, see on the side, there's even the little witch shoes there too. Um, yeah, I just love it. It's so cute. So this is going to be perfect for a little swap. Happy mail, boo mail, you know, maybe a teacher gift. I'm not sure yet what I will use it for. But um, I just, I thought this little witch was perfect with these little witch shoes. So cute. So yeah, I had a lot of fun creating this. And I can't wait to, um, you know, use some other, um, got some other projects in mind for this particular die too. So I'm excited to get those uh, rolling as well. Okay, I will talk to you guys later. Remember, uh, these dies will be available in Erica's shop, Scrap Diva Designs, and I will put the link in the description box below, and you can use my coupon code LARISSA10 to save 10%. Okay, I will talk to you later. Bye!